Hey everybody, and thank you for joining me for the second episode of The Long Road of Motorcycles. This episode is on Michaud and Perrault, a couple of French inventors who may or may not have been the first to create the steam-powered Velisioped. Before we talk about the Velisioped, let's talk about Michaud and, the men, and Perrault and the men that designed and built it. Pierre Michaud was born in 1813 in a town called Bast-le-Duc. He grew up to become a blacksmith outfitting carriages in Paris from the 1850s to the 1860s. In the early 1860s, either he or his son affixed pedals to the dandy horse, a push bike, thus creating the Velesioped, which changed the face of transportation forever. Then along comes Pearl, to push it further along still. Louis Guillaume Perrault was born in 1816 in Normandy. He was a smart child, even if his parents were a little cavalier with his safety. When he was 12, he created the cane gun. Yes, it's exactly what it sounds like. It was a gun concealed in a cane. How bad was 1800s France that a 12-year-old felt the need to create a gun concealed in a cane? Was it honestly that common a thing to see a 12-year-old walking with a cane, like it would go unnoticed? I don't think if I saw a 12-year-old walking with a cane, I would be worried about a gun, though. I'd probably think, poor kid. But, so where was I? All right. So at some point, Perrault ended in, up in Paris and when, was inventing seemingly non-stop, designing a multi-chambered gun, a measuring device used to make marks on a thermometer that, that measured in microns. The steam velociped that Michaud and Perrault designed was constructed on the frame of a Michaud bone shaker. This was a slang term used to describe bikes at the time because of how horrible they were. The engine they attached was a twin-cylinder alcohol-burning steam engine, which drove the wheel using two leather belts. There was a steam pressure gauge located above the front wheel of the rider's line of sight in the rider's line of sight, and the engine only produced two to three horsepower. Not really surprised that the steam version of this Flesio pad didn't come with brakes, though the base model of the bicycle did. Also, not really surprised that the production of this only lasted until 1871, two years after the pair had filed for, the, for their patent. It doesn't seem like Michaud and Perrault gave up on the idea because in 1884, there they were at the Industrial Expe Exhibition in Paris with a trike prototype, front wheel drive with two rear wheels. I don't think this is the first motorcycle, or that it was a step in the evolution of the first motorcycle. It's just my opinion, and as I said before, I'm not an expert, I'm just an enthusiast with the Googling problem. If any of you have any thoughts on this, or would like to enlighten me, you can leave me a voicemail in the link below, and just let me know. So yeah, people think Michaud and Perot, or Michaud and Perot, or Sylvester Howard Roper were the first ones to do the steam engine thing, but although Michaud and Perot say they invented that they built this in 1867, they didn't file for a patent until 1869, two years later, two years after. Roper had his patent. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Just seems fishy to me. But I don't know what to tell you. But anyway, anyway, guys, it's a short one today. In the next episode, I'll be talking about Delmer and Maybox right wagon. It's, that's right, riding wagon. Uh. 
Merry Christmas. It's Christmas Eve when I'm recording this. I'm posting it tomorrow, which obviously Christmas Day. I'll be posting the video format on YouTube on the following Wednesday of every episode that I put this out on. And basically it's just pictures of what I'm talking about. So if there's anyone that doesn't know what I'm talking about, they will. And it's easier for them to see it. But, so my YouTube channel is Neck Hair Custom. You can follow me on Instagram, on Facebook. Just search Neck Hair Custom on any of those platforms. Wrench and Twitter, I'm on there too. Wrench, if you don't know, check it out. It's kind of cool. It's just another social media platform that all they do is projects. People post pictures of their projects. I post some pictures of my pro the projects. I post links to the videos and this. So it's a pretty cool thing. People, you can check out what other people are doing around the world. It's pretty cool. Facebook has it, but it's like you can do the same thing with Facebook. Way harder to find stuff. Instagram, do the same thing. Way harder to find. Wrench is pretty cool. Check it out. But, yeah, so anyway, as I was saying, you can keep up with my CB360 chopper build on rent, or on any of those platforms, and I'll post pictures of old bikes, I'll share pictures of bikes I like from other people. If you guys want to get a hold of me, you can message me on Facebook or Instagram, I'll try to get back to you if I miss it. But I don't normally because nobody messages me. But anyway, yeah. Merry Christmas. Have a great night. Have a great day. I hope you got everything you wanted. Bikes, cars, clothes. I don't know why anybody wants clothes for Christmas. But you know, I never grew up. And I'll talk to you next week. Watch my video on Monday. You get to watch me screw some stuff up. I'll see you later.